What a time to be alive for an LSU Tiger fan, which I'm pretty sure that most of you are. Because Joe Burrow and the LSU Tigers won the National Football Championship game last night at the New Orleans Mercedes-Benz Superdome. They took down Clemson 42-25. Yes, you heard it right. 42 points on one of the best defenses in the country. The former back. Backup Ohio State quarterback in another big performance. He ended the night with five touchdowns, 463 yards, and the guy who was probably his favorite wide receiver. Jamar Chase had 221 of those yards. You talk about a nightmare, my goodness. But there's too many times when your team wins the SEC championship game, your quarterback wins the Heisman, and a Louisiana college football team wins the championship in Louisiana all in one year. If someone tried to write that book, you would think that book would never get published. But when you look at LSU today, they're national football champions. Now, it's time for your Go Nation report. Sponsored by Gordon McKernan, Injury Attorneys. Out here on Ploiders in the heart of New Orleans, it was a sea of purple and gold behind me last night. We are actually probably a 10-minute walk even from the French Quarter. And it was a constant roar. What an amazing scene it was out here. Probably one of the most amazing scenes I've seen in my life covering the LSU Tigers. And it was well-deserved. Eight years of memories, eight years of heartache, eight years of thinking about this city and coming up short in that national championship game finally put to bed. You know, our spirit that we left here in 2011, you know, these guys had a hell of a season, obviously. You can't take nothing from them. Um, but the pride and tradition and the history of LSU, you know, just, just became even greater. Best offense in college football history. Best football team in college football history. There's nothing more to be said. We did it for Louisiana. We did it for the city of New Orleans. We did it for Baton Rouge. We did it for all Louisiana, man. It was time we did it. I'm, I'm so glad we can get it done. Here in New Orleans, reporting on those national championship LSU Tigers, I'm Brian Holland. That was your Go Nation report. Let's switch gears a little bit to some college basketball. Louisiana Tech men's basketball team will be at home on Thursday to take on Rice University. The Texans are currently 12-4 and in the season and have been hot in their last nine games. In those last nine, they've won seven of them. I spoke with head coach Eric Conkle, and he says the work doesn't stop here. It's about our ability to improve each day. Um, we, we can't be the same team in March that we are on January 14th. We've got to find ways to improve each day because other teams in our league will improve. I promise you that. So we've got to keep focused on how do we get better today in our preparation for Rice, work to become the best team we can be for Thursday and compete in a very tough Conference USA basketball game. Louisiana Tech's women's basketball team will be on the road this week. They will also be facing Rice, but this Rice team is no pushover whatsoever. They have a big 6'9 presence in the middle who demands their attention. The Texans are currently 9-5, Rice 9-6 on the season. I think it's a great test. They're still the champs. They'll be the champs until someone beats them. I think we're the last team to beat them um, on their home court and conference play. And um, I think that's something that, you know, we've got three players that were on that team. They're very good. They're very experienced. They have four returning starters. Um, you've got Mulkey in the middle controlling things. Up next, one last look at your seven-day forecast. That's next on Fox 14.